Hello everybody, welcome back. This is your Intuitively Awakened Starseed here with a message for the collective, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Welcome into your reading. This is going to be a collective message. It is a timeless reading. It is a general message and it is for all zodiac signs. So you guys, please remember to take only what resonates with you, what does not, please leave it. All energy is fluid. It can be for your past, your present, your future. He, she, him, her, people, places, things. Thank you guys so, so much for all of your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I appreciate you guys so, so much. And I am sending you guys love, light, gratitude, Palo Santos. Yes. You guys, let's tap into this energy. I'm picking up on a shift. I'm, I'm picking up on your person's energy, divine feminine, divine masculine. I'm picking up on your person's current energy, okay? So I am picking up on a shift, right? There's something changed. I'm also picking up on multiple energies here. Speaking of a third party, right? Yeah, so definitely picking up. I'm hearing like um, revenge, plotting, that type of energy. So you guys, let's go ahead and tap in and see what is going on. Um, please remember to only take what resonates and let's go ahead and tap in here. Spirit, please give us a clear message for the collective, divine feminine, divine masculine. What is the message for the collective? What is it that the collective needs to know? Spirit, please give us a clear message for this person's energy. Okay. Oh, okay. So sparks, there's a lot of sparks. See, I'm picking up on that energy. There's a very strong attraction, right? But this is a different type of attraction for this person, right? So divine feminine, there's a shift going on with this divine masculine I'm getting, right? Um, I'm seeing that it's about your energy, right? It's about your light. Something has brought on a shift with this person. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. It's like you're the first person. You're the first person, I feel like, to show them love or true love is the energy that I'm getting. Someone is softening. Someone is... It could be a player here, but this is someone that is softening to your energy. Something is hidden though here, right? And this could be this person not showing their true feelings. Yeah, so their feelings for you could be hidden. Yeah, or there's something else. What else do we have here, Spirit? What is hidden with regards to this person, right? Yeah, Spirit, please give us more. Mm. Okay, so I'm seeing here, oh, true love. Oh, so this person is hiding their feelings from you. So this is someone that you're very attracted to, Divine Feminine. I feel like you guys share a deep bond. Like, it's like a deep attraction is what I'm getting, right? Um. But it's like this person is hot and cold is the energy I'm getting. And this person has a lot of hidden emotions. There's also, I feel like, some something else like the hidden issues here. See, it's your, someone's very charismatic. I'm seeing a lot of charisma. Love flows to you. Now, this is, I'm speaking about your light. That's what I'm picking up on here, right? It's your light. You radiate charisma and charm, right? I feel like this person, this divine masculine, is also very charming, right? Okay, so I'm picking up on there could be some insecurities here because I'm seeing a bit of toxicity, right? So I feel like this person, Divine Feminine, could definitely be hiding their true feelings for you because you're the first person. You're the first person to show them true love is what I'm getting. You're the first person to love them without any motives. It's like your love is pure. And I feel like this person has a past of very toxic relationships, right? And this person may feel like 
they're not lovable or because of how because of the type of relationship that they've come in contact with in the past right they've been in very toxic codependent a lot of karmic cycles is what i'm picking up on with this person right that's why i'm picking up on some player energy here and i'm also picking up on a third party karmic energy yeah, there's something to do with the third party. There's a lot of jealousy is what I'm picking up on. This person is different with you. Spirit, please give us more. Thank you. Yeah, see, butterfly. Yeah, so there's some transformation going on with this person, with you. This could be someone that you are reconciling with, reconnecting with, or this could be a new love. I am seeing here that for some of you guys, you are coming in contact with a new love. This is a newer love interest that you guys are coming in contact with. Yeah, but it's like they're different with you, but it's like people, people see that they're different with you how happy they are. This person's mood, their energy, their light is shining brighter because of you. There's like an awakening happening. It's like you're the beacon of light guiding them towards their true divine energy is what I'm getting, right? So you guys are being brought into frequency intentionally, right? Hmm. What else we got here, Spirit? Please give us more. Oh, see, twin flame energy. See, that's why I'm picking up on this hot and cold energy off and on. This person is adjusting. This person is ascending. They're, they're ascending to their, they're tapping into their higher frequencies, their higher selves. So like you guys are meeting now because you're on the same frequency. This is divine counterpart energy with the twin flame card that just came out here. I am seeing twin flame energy. There's a magnetic pull that brought you guys together and it will guide you towards them, right? So it's like, This is something very different for this person because it's true. It's real. This is a divine love. This is a divine partnership that is being cultivated. That is being, it's being cultivated by the universe, right? Yeah. But I feel like this person, that's what the hot and cold energy is. So this person may just... You guys may be full on, everything's good, and then this person just breaks away. It may feel like they ghost you or something like that. That's twin flame energy. Yeah, this is your divine counterpart. Sarah, please give us more for the collective. Yeah, I'm definitely picking up. I feel it though, right? There is someone that... There's someone that sees this and is very jealous, right? What come through, spirit? What I tell you, look, with the next card, the X. So this is somebody that is they were dealing with. This is someone from their past. This is an X. So you they it's their ex. So they have severed ties or they are separated from this person. I'm getting that they're healing from this. So I feel like this was a karmic cycle, a karmic that they were with, their ex, right? There was a lot of deception. Again, this person has been through karmic cycle after karmic cycle, right? And I feel like this was the final one. And it's like this person had to deal with a lot of deception, a lot of betrayal, a lot of illusions, right? And this person's afraid to be vulnerable is what I'm getting because I'm picking up on this past energy, this third party that's very jealous that this person is coming into union with you, Divine Feminine, or that you guys are reconnecting. But I am picking up on that they were a false person. So they made themselves appear a shapeshifter. This is some shape-shifting energy, right? Some manipulative, dark, diabolical energy with this karmic, right? They made themselves appear 
to be a divine feminine, right? So this divine masculine was completely fooled, right? So many illusions, right? But this person, I feel like, has them a bit paranoid, right? With regards to coming into union with anyone else. And you are, you're everything they want and everything they need. And it scares them because they almost feel like it's a setup. But this, I feel like they, they completed this karmic cycle with this person. But this third party is jealous. They're losing it. Behind the scenes, this karmic is losing it. Yeah. Because I'm getting people are saying like, divine masculine has changed. Yeah. Oh. Look, a surprise. I'm seeing a surprise. A romantic, romantic surprises are on the horizon. Be open to them. So someone wants to take things to a neck to the next level. I feel like this is your person. You know, they've never felt this way before. This person is definitely adjusting. That's what the hot and cold energy is. 1111 on the timer. Angel number 1111, y'all. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. Somebody's coming in the union. Twin flame energy here. Yeah, but I feel like this person definitely wants to take things to the next level, right? With you. Ooh. They are so happy with you. This... This is like a shift, right? This person is like night and day with you. And that's also making this third party jealous because this divine masculine, and it's like, you may be aware of this. I feel like you are divine feminine because you are very intuitive. You have like, you know, your psychic abilities. You're very intuitive. Um, I could be speaking to a reader, a light worker, a star seed here. But I feel like in the past, this person was definitely a player um, up until the point of when they met you. So, yeah. And it's like people, the community are seeing a shift in this person. They're seeing a change in this person since they've been with you. Now you have this jealous third party energy, karmic, that wants to come in between this connection because they thought if they could be phony, act like a divine feminine, they would get this divine masculine energy. No, this divine masculine has pulled away or is pulling away from this karmic third party. Yeah, look to your dreams. So you could be dreaming about this person. This person could be popping up in your dreams, divine feminine. Yeah. Or there's something coming to you in the dreams, in your dreams that will answer your questions. So definitely pay attention to your dreams. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dream interpretation. Yeah. Do some research. Yeah. Interpret those dreams because I'm seeing here, they hold a lot of answers. So spirit, the divine, I feel like is communicating to you through your dreams. Now, the, yeah, this could also be this divine masculine. I feel like you guys have telepathic communication. Oh, see, there's a lot. This is going to the next level, you guys. This connection is going to the next level, okay? Because we have surprise. So I'm seeing romantic surprises are on the horizons. Be open to them. So, and then I'm seeing here romance romantic surprises again are open so being open to them right so being vulnerable even though things may be bumpy or this person may be hot and cold just being open to it i'm getting patience right something to do with patience this is going to require patience mm -hmm. wow because look imperfections yeah, loving this person. I feel like there's no judgment with you, right? This person doesn't feel like they have to be something that they're not. They can be themselves around you. They can be their true, authentic self with you. Yeah, and it's like, it's unconditional love because it's like I'm seeing imperfections. Love is beautiful. It's a beautiful mess. 
embrace its imperfections, right? So that's what I was saying. It is, I'm picking up on a bumpy ride here because this person definitely has been through a lot of karmic cycles. And I feel like this person does have some type of guard up, right? Or a little bit of like paranoia. Yeah, because I feel like this was a completely, this was a false person that they were with in the past. This person definitely um, was had a mask on. Yeah, this karmic third party. This is this jealous third party, right? That still wants to come in between this connection. But this divine masculine seeing who they truly were behind the mask. Ciao. Mm. You are the best thing that ever happened to them. Truly. This is how this divine masculine feels. They feel that you're the best thing that ever happened to them. And they're so happy about this connection. I feel like even though they may act a bit hot and cold, they may be a bit flaky. I feel like that's them protecting themselves. But I feel like this divine masculine definitely is going to want to take things to the next level with you. I'm seeing love is the bridge, connecting souls, cherish the connections. Yeah, this divine masculine is definitely not taking this for granted, right? This connection that you guys share. Um, you may feel that way, but that's not the case. What else do we have here, Spirit? Mm-hmm. What else we got? Yeah, you are the first person to show them true love. I feel like this divine masculine only had, again, a lot of karmic cycles. So a lot of false energy, fake love. It wasn't pure. This was not pure love in the past, right? Because this divine masculine was not aligned with their divine energy. So they were trapped in like these toxic cycles over and over again. But you showed them true love. You were the beacon of light, child. You rescued them from the karmic cycles, right? Yeah. The best thing that ever happened to them, right? What else we got here, Spirit? Please give us more for the collective. Thank you. Oh. I'm getting relaxed. These things, this is coming together, right? I feel like behind the scenes, the universe is definitely working um, helping to patch this situation, right? And what I mean by patch it, because I feel like this divine masculine is definitely all in. It may not seem like it, but they're definitely all in, right? But I feel like there's a lot of work going on behind the scenes to patch these insecurities that this divine masculine has. Um, the fear of abandonment. Yeah, there's like a fear of abandonment with this divine masculine. Mm-hmm. And that's the major block that I'm picking up on. That's what's blocking them from being all in or why they get close and then they pull back. This person gets close and then they pull back. Not to the point of separating from you because this is my masculine. I, they, they have no intentions of ever letting you go. I can let you, I can see that. Yeah. Spare, please give us more for the collective divine feminine, divine masculine. Please give us more for the collective. Wow. Celebrate the love that you share with those that matter the most. I'm picking up on some type of ceremony between you guys, right? So um, this could be some type of um, ceremony. Um, it could be engagement. Some type of union, right, is what I'm picking up on, right? A celebration. You see the two cups. So that's divine energy, um, divine guidance bringing you guys together. Again, this is definitely meant to be, even though it is a bumpy ride. This is meant to be. Yeah, it's almost like there's a test here, right? Right when I said that, right? It's almost like there's a test here. Okay, seeing if you guys can endure the storm as well. So there's a lot of shifts going on behind the scenes. But this was a player. I'm picking up this was a player. Um, I feel like this person, you are the first person to show this player true love, which actually caused them to shift out of that energy, right? You rescued them from this toxic, low vibrational energy. Yeah, you can. <laughs> hmm. You were a significant integral part in this person's 
awakening, their spiritual awakening, their ascension, their growth. A catalyst. Yeah. Look, doorway. Opportunity presents itself that leads to a new person. Yeah, this person is... I feel like this is the doorway opening for them to step into their divine energy, right? Yeah. And I'm seeing here a star card. So this is definitely a good sign for this union in the future. But I feel like you may have your doubts about this. And it's because how this person is flaky, right? Very flaky. I'm picking up on Gemini energy here. I'm very off and on, hot and cold. Mm -hmm. But this is their, this is them adjusting. This is their spirit adjusting to the soul connection that you guys have, right? Because this is your divine counterpart. And this has been manifested. Yeah. Look at this. Your hope and optimism. Yes. Maintain your high frequency because that is what's, that's what attracted you guys together is your high frequency, their high frequency. And then also too. I'm getting that's what is going to keep you guys connected. So I'm seeing here your hope, your optimism, and powerful love. This is a magnetic attraction, right? Definitely a magnetic attraction, okay? So just maintain those high vibrations, right? That's very important at this time. Mm -hmm. This person may be coming to apologize to you, and I feel like that is for their hot and cold energy, right? Mm-hmm. Because it's putting you in a place of doubt is what I'm getting. But it's because this person is acting this way because you are the first person that ever showed them like this true love, right? But I feel like it's just, you know, they are adjusting to it, but also to, they're hoping that there's not a mask, right? Because it's like they've been, they've been through a lot in the past, right? So that's what I'm getting, patience, right? It's almost like you're too good to be true, divine feminine. That loving, nurturing energy that you have, how you loved on them, how you truly cared about them. Yeah, cared how they felt, how they were feeling, how their day was going. What did they eat? You know, that type of energy. How did they sleep? Yeah, this is like something that's very different, right? Mm-hmm. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Please give us more for the collective. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Wow. What else we got here? You're everything they wished and hoped for. I'm seeing wish. You're everything that they wished and hoped for, right? And this is coming true. Their wish is finally coming true. You're their wish granted. You're their wish fulfillment, right? And it's, this person is like, never thought that this would happen in this lifetime, right? I feel like this person almost had given up hope, but like people see how happy this person is. Yeah, so you've definitely, your love has melted these walls that have been up for so long with this Divine Masculine. I said Divine Masculine. Yeah, mm-hmm. They were distorted. They were in a mess when they came in contact with you, but that frequency, it was something about that frequency that they were on. Even though they were in a mess, the frequency was on point. Yeah, see? Divine timing. Yeah. Trust in divine timing. Love arrives when it is meant to come through, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Trust in divine timing. Love arrives when it is meant to. And this is your time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, child. What else we got here? Yeah, they regret not finding you sooner. That's their one regret. Yes. Passion. They're keeping this passion for you. The passion is still going for you. Nothing has changed, right? Yeah. What else we got? 
It's like you guys are at that beautiful part too. It's like I'm picking up on, it's like unsure. Why is this person acting like this? Why are they shifting? It's like you guys are getting to know each other. You guys are getting to know each other's rhythm. And there is something, it's so, it's like there's uncertainty with that part, right? It's like, it's a beautiful like um, balance, right? that you guys are getting into. So getting to know each other, right? Getting to know how each other feels. And it's like you guys being in your divine energy, you're able to see straight through one another is what I'm getting. And that makes it even more beautiful. So even though it's this uncertainty, right? You know, why is this person acting like this? Why are they hot and cold? You know, um, It's all about getting to know each other's energies, right? You guys, wow, you're getting you're getting to know each other on a deeper soul level because this is a deep soul connection, your divine counterparts. And by getting to know each other, because you are divine counterparts, by getting to know each other, you guys are getting to know yourself, yourselves. You're getting... You're doing a lot of introspection in yourselves by going through this cycle. This is very beautiful, even though things are a little, I feel like quirky, right? But you're the first person to show them true love, to show this player true love is what I'm getting. Third party losing it behind the scenes. I feel like they want, they're jealous. They want to come in between this connection but what I'm saying here, what I'm picking up in these cards, this is something that transcends space, time. Yeah, this connection, this is not something that is just superficial or surface level that you guys are sharing. Yeah, so this karmic, this third party trying to come in between this, they can't. We have divine timing that has already shown up here. This union is divinely guided. This is not some superficial connection. This is a deep soul connection that you guys are sharing, right? And I'm getting, mm, boom, look at this, sacrifice. So love may come with sacrifices, evaluate this, right? Yeah, because the thing of it is, this is going deeper. I feel like this connection is going deeper than divine feminine, divine masculine even realizes. Wow. Wow. Ooh, I'm hearing compromise, connection, chemistry, commitment. Mm-hmm. Now I'm seeing an opportunity to dress up and party. Fun times ahead. Now, this could definitely be speaking to, this could be speaking to um, a ceremony or something like that. Yeah. Oh, I'm seeing closure with the past. Because now this divine masculine has definitely realized that not all of these connections that they made are good connections. They realize that they have been in a karmic cycle. They're understanding they're understanding spirituality now. They're understanding these spiritual connections, these connections that are happening, this connection, yours on a soul level. They're understanding twin flame, um, soulmates. They're understanding now um, a deep knowing of past life connections and past life agreements, things that are happening manifested in the soul realm, the spiritual realm that are, you know, um, being manifested here for the physical realm. There's a lot because this divine masculine is now tapping into their divine energy. So divine feminine, this is a lot that whomever I'm speaking to, this is a lot that you are aware of. You do possess a deep understanding for this, right? So I feel like because you are a divine feminine, you do possess this deep knowing, right? Um, You've been in your energy. You understand this. You've done the work. And this divine masculine is beginning their journey. 
So they're coming into deep knowing, but with that, they see that all these connections, not all of them are meant to be. And they have put closure, closing the door, closing the door. Now, by them closing the door doesn't keep these karmic third parties from keep coming and knocking. But I'm picking up, they can come and knock all they want. Divine Masculine is no longer answering that door. Uh-huh. Yeah. Rest assured, Divine Masculine is not answering that door. Child, what else we got here? Let's get a few more from this deck, y'all. This is your person's current energy and their current intentions coming out. That's what I was picking up on. Really heavy energy with regards to the somebody that used to be a player. Wow. Okay. Wow. Look at that. Hmm. Wedding. Hmm. Taking your relationship to the next level. And that's what I've been saying the whole reading in the card. I'm seeing a wedding, taking your relationship to the next level. One step at a time. Yeah. Because like I said, you're in that. This is like, even though it can be uncomfortable is what I'm getting. You know, getting to know each other's shifts, their personality, their shifts, their moods how they move. It's also very beautiful. And this is taking things one step at a time. Y'all, y'all on the path. Y'all on the journey. Mm -hmm. Y'all on the journey. Boundaries are in place for anything that may challenge this connection or cause any issues. This divine masculine is protecting this and protecting you. Mm -hmm. Very protective energy. What else do we have here, Spirit? Please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Please give... Oh, child. Okay, that must be an important one. That really flew. Where'd it go? Hold on. Mmm. I had to exhale on that. Anticipation. See? Embrace the sweet anticipation of love's arrival in your life, it is coming or it is already there and it is being cultivated. It is being worked on behind the scenes. The divine is cultivating this because we got divine timing. I'm getting, oh, make sure that you're open. Make sure that you're open, right? Because even though this person may be acting erratic is what I'm getting, hot and cold, ebb and flow is what I'm getting. Open your heart. To receive the abundance of love the universe has to offer. Because the universe is sending it to you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Destiny. This is a destined connection. So, this could be a reconciliation, a reconciliation that's happening. This could also be new energy. But you have definitely been the catalyst for a shift with this person's energy. I'm seeing here the reunion of your twin flame is a destined event, right? So this is definitely destiny. And I told you, I'm picking up on that twin flame energy. Yeah, no more. There's no illusions here. Yeah, no illusions. Mm -mm. Nope. Wow. Oh, you can trust this person. That's what I'm seeing here. Trust, right? Yeah, I feel like both of you guys, I feel like this person came to you very guarded. And I feel like because this person was very guarded, that caused you to be guarded, right? So I feel like trust is wa waxing and waning, right? Trust is like back and forth, waxing and waning, like the, the cycles of the moon. Pay attention to the lunar cycles. Where did I get that from? Yeah, pay attention to your lunar cycles. That could be very significant with regards to this connection. Also, someone could be a Pisces, right? I'm picking up on that moon energy, Pisces energy. Somebody could have hidden emotions. Well, somebody does have hidden emotions. Yeah, I'm seeing that with the bi masculine, and they're coming out here. But I feel like those walls caused you to kind of, you know, second guess things or kind of doubt this connection. But again, this is this person adjusting to their true divine energy that you were the beacon of light that shown them the way to this new energy, right? To where they truly belong. You are home, divine feminine. 
to this person. Yeah, to this player, this player. Y'all, this is not, it ain't a player no more, right? Mm-hmm. See, and I'm seeing friendship. This, see, this, this union is definitely... This union is operating on a different level and getting to know each other. There's a deep bond, a friendship that has developed or is in the process of developing, right? You could feel like you've known this person all your life. That's the type of energy that I'm picking up on, right? Mm-hmm. And see, that's the thing with twin flame energies. A lot of times it only stays at the friendship level. Yeah, it may only stay at the friendship level, but I see that you guys are building that friendship bond, that deep bond, but I do see this going to a romantic level. That is completely here, right? So, which is really beautiful, you know, because finally you've made contact with what was manifested in the spiritual realm, here in the physical realm, this love here in this lifetime. Come through spirit, that's what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, and avoid rushing to fill any voids or feeling like you need to search for someone new because this is your divine counterpart, right? But it is a definitely an adventure, y'all. Yeah, this person had fallen fast for you. You see that? Falling fast, right? Yeah, but they had a lot of things. I'm seeing baggage that they had to unpack, right? Unpacking a lot of baggage. Beautiful things, lotus flower. I'm seeing the lotus flower here. Beautiful things come from the worst type of situations, right? Not saying that this is the worst situation. Um, You guys are really just getting into sync, right? I'm getting that synchronicity, getting into sync with one another. But I'm definitely picking up on that lotus flower growing from the mud. A beautiful flower, right? Mm-hmm. Y'all, let's go ahead and go and see what we get from the tarot. This is a beautiful reading here, y'all. Yeah, interesting though. Mm-hmm. Third party karma cannot come in between this connection. They can't do anything to destroy this romance. The only thing that this karmic or third party can do is create more karmic debt for themselves, right? They're creating more debt for themselves going forward. So let's go ahead and go to the tarot real quick. Spirit, please give us more for the collective, divine feminine, divine masculine. What's ahead for this connection? Because I'm seeing here the only thing that they regret is not coming into contact with you sooner. Yeah, but this person has definitely fallen for you. They're... Actions may not match their behavior at this time. There may be hot and cold energy, but yeah, you are the first person to show them true love. Third party jealous can't come in between you. I'm seeing people seeing the change in this player. Yeah, they're seeing the change in this person. Yeah, you showed this player true love and it awakened them to their true Divine energy come through spirit. What else we got here? Mm-hmm. I feel like you feel like this divine masculine's acting funny. Meanwhile, the community, I feel like people are seeing that they're like, oh, other people are seeing a change in them, right? That's because they're aligning with you. Equal give and take. Come through spirit. Yeah, coming into balance. Look at that equal give and take, right? Pouring into each other. Okay, come through spirit. That's what I like to hear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is something else, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like, you know, it's like this. This karma could definitely be trying to utilize friendship. They keep knocking on the door and this divine masculine is not answering. So sending them messages, trying to offer them their friendship. Well, we can still be friends. Divine masculine is like, no, we can't be friends. Uh-uh. I'm in love with divine feminine. No. I'm cleaning up, cleaning house, cutting ties. What else we got, Sarah? What's going on for the future of this connection? This divine masculine's true intentions. Yeah, what else we got? Thank you, spirit. Mm. They've made up their mind. They've had a lot of choices. 
but your love is pure. Look, decisions. They shutting it down. They shutting it down. You guys pour into each other. It's equal give and take with you guys, right? They have a lot of choices, that player energy, but nothing, no one compares to you. No one compares to you, Divine Feminine. Yeah, there's no competition. Divine Feminine versus um, a karmic. Divine Feminine versus a third party. There is no competition, right? I'm seeing here the Two of Swords. Yeah, they don't need to. It's You see how she's like blindfolded here? This Divine Masculine doesn't need to see. They're connected with you on a soul level. So they're going off of energy. This is something these past codependent karmic energies could never understand. And this divine masculine is tapped into a higher perspective, right? Their higher self. Able, they have clarity. They're able to see things clearly. There's a lot of gossip going on, though. I'm getting in the community. This divine masculine has found their wish fulfillment. Mm hmm That's you, Divine Feminine. Yeah. And they're taking action, I feel like, to take things to the next level with you. And I am seeing an abundant new beginning come through spirit with their Divine Feminine. Loving, nurturing energy, your beautiful energy. You are the vessel that brings the missing piece to their soul. You're the vessel that brings them true happiness, true love. Yeah, look, King of Pentacles, this divine masculine. Oh, I'm seeing very stable energy here. Yeah, look, period. Y'all, two of cups. This is all about, this is all about a divine connection. You guys being brought into frequency. Yes. Wow. I knew it. I knew it, y'all. This is beautiful energy. You guys, mm, I'm seeing things going to the next level here. Yeah. And doors have closed to the past. And this divine masculine is focused on the future with you, divine feminine. Yes. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like this karmic wants to... This karmic feminine, it's just like they're just in the energy. They're offering their friendship. They're trying to message tech. This divine masculine is closed off from this energy. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. They have closed the door. Not answering the door. Not answering the messages. Block, delete. Because you are who this divine masculine has manifested. You are everything that they want and need. Yeah. And they are willing to do what it takes. And I'm seeing this divine masculine is certainly not about to let no past energy, no karmic third party or anybody come in between this connection. Not at all. Not at all. They have found their wish fulfillment. Period. Boom. King of Cups. This divine masculine is in love with you and only you. You are the only one for them. Y'all, I'm leaving this reading here. I didn't mean to go this long. Thank you guys so, so much for stopping by as always. And I will see you guys for your next reading. Until next time, take care. Love ya. Bye.